Hello folks, Brian Urbana here, and yes, that is Table Mountain, but this is the preview show that you didn't know you needed. I will be talking everything Autumn Nation series and discussing all the major talking points ahead of this weekend's upcoming games. But wait, there is so much more. It is not just today's debut show. I'll be here for the rest of the series. I'm talking the players, I'm talking social media, I'm talking the fans, I'm talking the stadium. Autumn Nation series is here and it is gonna be amazing. So this is the Cape Town Stadium where the Springboks played their last home game on South African soil against the British and Irish Lions back in August this year. Now it's time to welcome fans back to the stadium and it has been absolutely brilliant to see fans flocking back to the stands on the domestic scene. It's time to see that happen on the international stage. We cannot wait for all of you to come back to the stadium and witness some incredible rugby. So if you are heading down to Murrayfield or the Principality Stadium this weekend, grab a selfie with your mates, tag us on the Autumn Nation series social media handles, where next week we're gonna be reviewing round one, previewing round two, and you might stand a chance to be featured on the show. But now, let's get back to talking about the real things. Let's get back to the rugby. It is the first of a mammoth few weeks of rugby. Wales are visited by not just one of the best teams in rugby, but in sports, the All Blacks, New Zealand. It is the Principality Stadium. It is one of the most incredible places to play, but not only that, it is one of the best places to witness face-to-face -face battles. Alan Jones coming up against Brody Retallick, world-class locks coming face-to-face, -face, ones that go down as the engine room and the heartbeat of their team. Alan Jones is also currently on 148 test caps for Wales and could he potentially reach 150 during this year's Autumn Nation series. It could potentially happen again South Africa next weekend, which will also take Alan Jones past Richie McCaw as the most ever test cap player for his country. And the second game of the weekend sees Scotland coming up against the always fiery, always ready for battle, Tonga. And I think for me, Gregor Townsend definitely has one eye on that Rugby World Cup 2023 because he has blooded a lot of exciting young players. And you're looking out for the likes of a Ewan Ashman, a Josh Bayless, a Rory Dodge, a Luke Crosby, players who have been doing phenomenal things for their local teams. And for Tonga, experience most certainly joins their ranks. And former Australian flanker and number eight, Lepeti Tamani, as well as one very exciting All Black, Malachi Fakato, who was unfortunately injured, has been in their ranks. And we know Lepeti has played 12 times the Wallabies in 2016 and 2017, but qualifies for Tonga after playing some sevens this year for the country, which means Tonga will be incredibly dangerous. They'll be incredibly physical, and they'll be wanting to prove to the tier one nation that they deserve to be sitting at the main table. Right, let's get to it, the social media wrap. I know that I'm not the only one incredibly pumped for this international series. The players, as usual, have been active on social and I think they're probably as excited as you guys to get back into the stadium. Bowden Barrett, part of that impressive all black setup that was in Washington DC this weekend where at Soldier Field, they put in a pretty impressive showing. But more so than that, they got out to the Congressional Country Club. Not jealous at all, Bowden, thank you very much. But they showed their skills in their off time with a pretty decent group of golfers. And for those of you that are not doing it as of yet, get onto Instagram and follow one of Rugby's most larger than life characters. Big Joe Marla is a guy who provides incredible content. And as Carl Sinkler got to see, keeps you on your toes every second. And for all you coffee connoisseurs out there, uh, I've got this memento from Japan 2019, the Brave Blossoms. James Moore shows us exactly what cafe latte art is all about. Mama.
French captain Charles Olivon won't lead the French out in the Autumn Internationals. But that does give an opportunity for one of the most exciting, one of the most consistently impressive players over the course of the last three years, both for club and for country, to lead his country out at only 24 years old. Anton Dupont is someone we all know and love and absolutely brings everything that is good about rugby to the fore. And with coach Fabien Galtier as a mentor and a bit of a tutor, we're bound to see something special from the young, explosive dynamite. So, we've had a look at the key matchups and we've heard what the players and teams have been saying on social media. And as the Autumn Nation series starts out with an absolutely mouth-watering clash between the Welsh and the All Blacks, can Wales look to secure their first victory against the mighty All Blacks since 1953? I mean, many of us weren't even a consideration in 1953. So, Adam Jones and his troopers will be looking to see if they can do something special. Bye guys, love you, see you soon. So, all my bags are packed and I really hope you've enjoyed a taste of what's to come over the next few weeks. I cannot wait to get over and experience world-class action for this year's Autumn Nation Series. See you over there.